Please, turn off the ad block, subscribe, and share. Links will be below for anyone wanting to support this channel. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechViews Nope. And today, I am doing another Windows 10 video. In this video, it is going to be on how to fix the Windows 10 taskbar when the start doesn't open at all. This is a just a simple fix. But one thing I will tell you is some people are reporting that this doesn't work for them. Now, in order to help you, the viewers, out, one thing I'll ask for you, the viewers, is if you do try this and it doesn't work for you, or even if it does, leave down there in the comment section saying if it does or doesn't work for you, and put your make and model of computer in the comment section. That way, if whomever comes to this video at a later date, they can look at the comment section and um, see if it works for their making model. Now, even if it doesn't say that it works for your making model, if it's like one or two comments, I'll still give it a try and see how it goes. But if you got like five or ten, then obviously five or ten comments that saying it doesn't work for yours, then obviously it's probably not going to be the thing that works for you. And this will be fixed later on. But at this time, I would suggest for you to pause the video, go down to the comment section, and check to see if anyone has left a comment and also put their make and model if it matches up with yours. So with this, uh, now that we have understand that this won't work for everybody, there's nothing I can do if it doesn't work for you besides tell you to restart your computer, see if that works, or just wait for the update. The uh, one thing I will also say, because of legal reasons, if this does break your computer for any reason under the sun, it's not on my head since I physically didn't touch your computer. It's just a legal disclaimer because we're dealing with computers. So, as far as that goes, um, now as far as the example, again, the start doesn't open, Cortana doesn't open, and a few others. And if Cortana doesn't open and that's it, then I already have a video on this, but simply go to the task manager, the taskbar, right click, go to task manager, find Cortana, get to more details, and find Cortana on here and uh, close them out and then click on it to reopen it. In fact, let's uh, do that real quick. And in this case on older versions, I've actually had this problem happen to me on older versions of Windows. What you would do is go to the Windows 4 and press restart, but don't do that for Windows 10 because that never works for this case and you can actually do more harm um, not permanent damage but more harm where you got to restart the computer because the task bar completely becomes useless so as far as that goes um, now I can't right click on the items below so that's one thing to keep in mind but i can left click to open and um over and see things so that that's a very important detail that will come in handy in a second so first things first what you need to do locate the windows command key in r and press them at the same time and you should get something like this that says um, run type in the following PowerShell and press OK from here what you can do is right click and if you can get to administrator then you're good if you can't like myself then you have to go through a different method but one thing I will tell you is 
Yours may look a little bit different from mine. Just go to the top left, go to properties, go to color, and you can change the colors right there. So I'm just gonna close that out. And if you can right click that, just run as measure. So from here, since we can't do that, we can right click on the start. If you can't do that, then just restart. And uh, that's really the only thing that's left. But from here, right click on the start, go to command prop admin type in and same thing with this yours may look different just go to properties and color go to powershell and paste that in and what this will do is it will basically uh, take off some stuff now as far as that goes um, one thing I will tell you is the code that I just pasted in it will be in the description so you don't have time for it and you don't have to type for obvious reasons so what we're doing right now is we're waiting. It says processing and we're waiting for that to get done. And whenever it gets done, the um, start menu should work. I'm gonna pause the video so we can wait on that. And as seen here, it works. So as far as things goes, I don't know if this is a permanent fix. Supposedly it is, but we'll have to see. But as far as that goes, again, it doesn't work for everybody. There's not anything, there's actually flat out nothing I can do for that besides so say just restart your computer every time you have that problem and wait for the official update to come out to fix it because i mean it's a widespread issue so it it has to be fixed it's not going to be one of those things that are just going to be ignored and with that in mind i expect it'll be fixed sooner than later by sooner i mean six months at most but um as far as that goes, if it does work for you, leave your make and model below and say it works. If it doesn't, then again, leave your make and model and say it doesn't. And that way it can help out future viewers. Again, this has been Craig Bent, founder and owner of Tech Views. Nope. And hopefully this video has helped you out. And if you like it, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, share. If you didn't like it for whatever reason, go ahead and leave a dislike, but tell me why so I can fix it in future videos. And please feel free to check out our Patreon campaign and other ways to support us. And also please feel free to check out our other videos and subscribe. Again, hope you have a great day.